Hi, welcome to this week's video. My name is Paul. So this week, um, like last week, I'm doing a landscape, actually in landscape format. You might think, well, what else would you do? But usually I don't do landscapes in landscape format. I use a portrait format. Um, the results you get are very different. The portrait format tends to focus in on a part of the landscape. Whereas when you use landscape format, you're getting more of a, a sweeping landscape, I suppose. I also noticed while I was sort of editing this video and watching myself uh, painting the sky, there's two things I noticed. First of all, I tend to paint the skies quite quickly. And then the second thing is I sort of, and I never realized this before, but I seem to paint almost like a photographic negative. So if like me, you're old enough to remember what a photographic negative is in the days before digital cameras, everything is sort of inverted. So bright areas become dark and dark areas become bright. And with when I'm painting the sky, the areas that I leave white, in my mind, that's actually the, the blue sky. And then the white clouds, I paint in blue. I say, I never realized I did that before. And I don't know why I do it, uh, but I do. <clears throat> so we learn something about ourselves all the time. Like I say, that's the sky painted and that's the horizon line painted. I just used Prussian blue for the horizon line but it's quite diluted, so the value is very low. Usually the Prussian blue is a very dark blue. The green I used was a, I think it's light phyllo green it's called. It's a sort of yellowish green. And this is cadmium yellow. Again, technically I think it's called light cadmium yellow or cadmium yellow light. That's produced by Snellier. Snellier also have uh, deep cadmium yellow, which is actually more of an orange than a yellow. One of the most common questions I get asked in YouTube videos and comments and things is probably what colors am I using? And the colors are, you know, it's wonderful to use different colors and experiment with them. But I would also suggest if you're getting started with watercolor or any other uh, type of painting really, is don't just think about the colors, but also the values and how you're using value in the painting. Because it can have just as much of an effect on the final painting as the colors that you use, at least in my opinion. And this week I was able to do a few paintings, three or four paintings, and a couple of them, I'll compare them to this one at the end of the video, just to try and show you the difference in how value makes a big difference to a painting. And by values, of course, I just mean if you converted the colors to black and white, a gray scale, um, you know, how bright or dark would the colors be? And you can see on this one, it's pretty much the values are quite light. Whereas if you look at these two paintings, that horizon line is much darker. And it does produce, I think, a more, a very different result. Um, your eye tends to be drawn to darker values. So if you do the horizon line in very dark values, it tends to stand out more. Okay, so if you get a chance, try some watercolor painting. Um, it is great fun. Uh, I think it's definitely one of the, the best mediums out there. Um, if you'd like to subscribe, just click on the big red subscribe button below and hopefully see you uh, in the next video.